Hey you guys, welcome to Horoscope-ish. I have a message. Um, I don't think, I think this could be a small group of people, but um, it will not resonate with everybody. So I'm gonna go with the flow of the energies and um, see what pops up. But the storyline here is somebody's doing really, really well and your intuition is telling you, do not share this information. Not necessarily, with, in particular, with uh, a situation you've healed from from the past, do not share this information with anyone from the past that, there's, I'm sorry guys, there's something about being, being deceived. So, um, and, and deceived in, in a manner of, um, deceived. Something about being stabbed in the back. Okay, so wherever you're going, anything having to do with the past and the people that have literally shown you who they are as nosy. Oh, that's it. Okay, it's never as bad as we think, but it, you know, you do proceed with caution and in, 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 in you, we proceed with caution. So, um, especially if you're a lover, <laughs> right? So if you're, especially if you're in this lover energy, uh, there's definitely a, a courage that's associated with this, this love that you hold. So, um, it's, it's just best to keep it to yourself when it comes to the past. <laughs> All right. Temperance. You've reached a place of peace. Remember how hard it was to grant yourself that peace when others were trying to disturb it. This is the deceit, got it. Others were trying to disturb your peace. Just the people from the past that disturb your peaceful intuition. Okay, just them. Don't forget how hard it was to grant yourself that space, that information sharing. Um, you know how you're really going to know who these people are? They're the ones that want to fight you. They want to fight you. They want to, they want to, they want you to bend to some kind of <sighs> will, but it's a hidden will. It's, it's, it's a hidden desire. Uh, ooh, desire. Wow. Also know if this is for you because the way you've had to the way in which you've learned to you know your intuition is telling you I'm not gonna talk about things with uh, these people anymore um, is because <laughs> um, you would show up just broken just broken and these people would tell you that you are crying about absolutely nothing and these people are the devil <laughs> these people are materialistic and toxic obsessive if you will they're obsessed with what they can attain let's just go with that they're obsessed with what they can attain and who they can control to attain some sort of mastery over others those are those people if you feel like you cannot get a word in with someone in your past don't share this information I mean they're, they're gonna they're gonna try and come they're gonna try and either come see you or uh, you know just kind of like you already know this too 
Someone needs to be very careful about what information they are giving to the past. That is all. Because your judgment is correct. Your judgment is correct about these people. Now, does it mean that they won't change ever? Hell no. Does it mean this is how they are now? If you knew that the people that were argumentative with you for no reason were going to hit you the next time they saw you, like direct, bop, right in the face, would you go see them? Now, this is assuming you're not a fighter, that you're looking for solutions. This is, this is the assumption <laughs> that you're trying to work it out. You're trying to come up with solutions. You're trying to um, almost compromise, but you're compromising too much with whoever made you look like this. If there is resistance and it's another human being, They're just not gonna budge. Maybe not the, not the best time. Not the best time at all. Um, and if they're like, okay, there may have been a time when you were down on your luck or you are down on your luck. Um, you're pulling that, you're doing the grind, you're exhausted. Uh, you might even be in a position, uh, a place of work where it, uh, you, you, you know it's it's beneficial to you. It's it's slowly improving your life, you know. But the thought process of God, how embarrassing! I work in a counter position. I work in a in 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 a factory, and you know I'm not really, uh, you know, like I'm not doing anything special. You gotta work on you before you can go do anything special. I mean, you don't always have to, but it is probably recommended that you work on you and and your value before going off and uh, uh, making a difference outside of you. So self improvement is definitely key here. But you've improved yourself so much that you could do this now with your eyes shut. Uh, it's just becoming almost second nature. So whatever you're doing right now, it may it may not feel glorious, but just know there is glory in improving you in God's eyes, okay? And I don't know how you guys see God, but I see God as an all loving, would never be upset, probably um, a, little, a little sad. I wouldn't even say disappointed. And this is only my my understanding of God, right? So, um, you know, um, just know that the relationship, that, that, that intuition, that part of you that, that God does talk to you through, that intuitive notion that I'm doing this for me and doing this not for proof or recognition, but so that I can move on temperance finding peace after chaos that should be the forefront of your mind because you're doing well not better well I'm really excited about that or well what's, what's a better emotion to express um, or feeling to express That's hard to attain, peace after chaos. Especially, uh, it could be 14 years of chaos. It could be 14 um, generations of chaos. 14, the age when this started. This climb to a higher we all know that health is wealth, y'all. 
there is a saying that health is wealth. Mental health is so important to your physical health. And this place of peace that you've reached, grabbing on to if you're gonna if you're gonna start sewing the fabric back in and 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 this is this really is about uh, the indifference towards you the adversity towards you has worn you down a little bit it's worn you down enough to make you question the validity of the path to getting better and doing well it's very valid it's encouraging and you have no idea what persistence what kind of what the amount of integrity that it takes to be boring stable <laughs> what it does when it, when it living the example when you live this example if you get into your head a little bit about what it might look like to this energy, remember this energy is excessive. This energy is balanced. You want to talk about the fight between good and evil? Hey, 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 hey. I can understand why so many people are so attracted to that devil energy. It, the devil is not unattractive. Balance seems, well, when you go into a bakery, let's say you go into a bakery and you're looking at the uh, things that are available. Behind the counter, you see a bunch of, maybe they're doing some, some restocking of the window of the little thingy. And behind you, you see uh, a tray full of broken, misshapen, uh, effed up foods, right? Effed up pastries. Now, full price is gonna be behind that pretty glass. Behind window shopping, baby. Whatever is perfect. Super temporary in the bakery event. You can have it every single day if you want. There may be some health consequences to that. But nevertheless, perfection, aesthetic, whatevs. There's also a certain type of behavior that goes along with that. And... I think that's how it's like don't let don't let excessiveness change you don't let an abundant abundance can change you okay it can make you um, see balance as less than who needs balance when you can have everything <laughs> well I'll take it from someone who has everything who may have lost their balance Okay, so I'm gonna put this right back down here. And thank you for still being here. And if you are still here, right on, because I've been there where I question the validity of growth, my growth. And I, I rarely look around outside of my day to day when I'm moving forward. I rarely look around and go, how do you get that? I know how you get that. I know how you get that. I don't want to do what it takes to get that. <laughs> uh, because it would totally take me out of character. So, um, out of my own uh, understanding of myself, I would be like, ah, I don't know about all that. Plus, I would be thinking about what it takes to maintain said, you know, luxuries, if you will. Uh, ex uh, uh, no worries. The no worries life would make me worry all the time. I'd be like, where do I park my Porsche? I had people stealing shit off of my 2001 CRV. What are they gonna do to my Porsche? You know, I'm a forerunner girl. My wife's a Porsche girl. Um, but 
Nevertheless, they're, they're very expensive vehicles and both need excessive amounts of maintenance just to drive it. You know how expensive it is? Okay, I'm not judging anyone who has a luxurious lifestyle. I am saying for me, that that's so much stuff to worry about just to uh, I don't know. It just seems like it, 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 the the the, the it, it seems like a temporary high um, that is very 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 expensive. <laughs> so um, you know. Uh, okay. So now I'm getting a signal while I'm looking at the temperance about. Being worried about where you've been. That was not your fault, babe. Somebody's somebody's past, someone said, no one's gonna care. No one is gonna listen to you. You're carrying that with you in a way. Um, and uh, go ahead and express that if it comes up if someone's like why do you do what you do gather your thoughts and if they're ready to accept it depends on the tone right i'm gonna read tone i personally am getting better at reading tone and responding less to reading tone <laughs> correct tone responding w without uh emotionally responding right so, um, <laughs> we've all been there. Uh, ex express it. What have you been through? You, ha you had warning signs, by the way. No worries, no worries. That benefit of the doubt, you're gonna drop it real quick. <laughs> I used to be a benefit of the doubt person. Nope. <clears throat> nope, 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 nope. <coughs> nope. person I'm talking to, the person that's being addressed, is star quality healer, a star quality healer. If you've got Sagittarius in your chart, um, If you've got Sagittarius in your chart, now Sagittarius has always represented to me a truth seeker. And if you aren't truthful with the raw energy of a Sagittarian energy, you you <laughs> you gonna get looked at like I don't even you might get. I don't know if you get looked at. I think Sag is like, this is why I love Sag is because the sun sign Sag is especially because it's like, you say something and they'll be like, say what? Okay. And then they'll go into an explanation. <laughs> I love it. There's pure communication. I love it. I love it. It's my sister sign. So of course I love my sister. Um, I love my sister. I love my brothers in arms of Sagittarian energy. <clears throat> but nevertheless, sister sign. I'm going to talk about sister sign. Love my sisters. I love them. They're so... Star quality healer. Work in the grind. Questioning life. Questioning what you're doing. I ask myself, what am I doing here? Uh, uh, here. You're here. That's what you're doing here. You're here. You're in the present. You're learning. You're doing. Yay! I don't see how that can be bad at all. Unless you got that devil energy going, is that it? Huh? Hmm? And you're like, yeah, because you're a lover. Healers are givers, so... You know, if you're not giving enough and someone, hang on, if you are perceived 
by a devil energy, an excessive energy to be not giving enough, then of course you're gonna question shit. Don't let, don't let it go to your head. Oh my God, Beefy Thompson, yeah. Okay, so ah, I found out that she lived in Nashville and I was like, ah. it was just random. I was reading this a long time ago. What you, what you, in a way, I stopped thinking. I'm like, I don't want people to think I'm a stalker. No one's gonna think anything unless you bring it up. <laughs> Plus, man, where I've been, anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. So don't, don't speak. They know just what you're thinking. So don't give them a reason. Don't tell them cause you'll hurt. King of Pentacles. If you were blind to other people's dismay of you, would it stall you anymore? <laughs> nope! Okay, I say nope so lovingly because technically, if you're like, I don't see it, I don't see it, I don't see it. And then you get ten of wands in reverse. That's the benefit of the doubt again. It's like, uh, no, don't, don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. This is what you're gonna do. Oh, I got it. This, I got. This is what you're gonna do. This is what you're gonna do. Address it. Address it. <gasps> Address it. Formal. Address it formally. Oh, head on stuff. Page of Wands, Queen of Cups, <laughs> girl. <laughs> King of Pentacles is extremely protective, y'all. That's how it acquires. However, if you're going to be that protective, you're going to have a hard time enjoying all the benefits of that protection. Uh, if, 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 if things... Oh, there's another angle of it. If things don't make you feel protected, you've discovered why your burdens aren't ending. If things do not make you feel safe and you still want to... Mm, maybe it's the burden of owning. Maybe it's the burden of your security. But you do have a passion, don't you? <laughs> To love, you got a passion to wear that heart on that sleeve, to be vulnerable. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Like, ah. Uh. It's like you had to build a fortress before you felt comfortable to uh, start creating. Get into Empress energy, not King of Pentacles. Empress energy is like, mmm. Well. Master builder energy. It's master builder energy. You gotta, you gotta. <laughs> all right, Emmett. <laughs> make it, make something out of all the stuff around you. Just make something like a cool race car. I thought it was funny in the Lego Movie how Wildstyle told uh, someone who uh, needed complete instructions, uh, which you know a lot of us do need complete instructions based on you know where we've been. Um, we, you know, it's very difficult to look at others and be like, you're not a free thinker, when literally that's all they were allowed to do was be conforming. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, you know, sometimes I feel like uh, when people don't look into why someone can't create something on their own, were, were they, were they allowed to have those creative solution? Were they allowed to implement it? Were they allowed to utilize it? Were they allowed to bring that onto the public image? Capricorn energy. Probably not. So, um, but Wildstyle is like, make a cool race car. Like a totally awesome race car. Okay, Emmett is like, do you have instructions? <laughs> and at the very end of the movie, not only does he know how to make Completely awesome, totally cool race car. <laughs> He's changed the minds of both both sides. 
both sides, the conformists and the creatives. He didn't mean to either. He, he just kept on page of wands in and queen of cups in. <laughs> he just stayed consistent in his vulnerability. So, don't start craggling. Don't start craggling. So you're doing well. If anything, the past is like, oh, what happened? What happened? Why would they ask what's happened? Oh, well, I mean, what flipped? Your past, what's, what's up with that? <laughs> the past is only concerned with its own emotions. It's bored. It's so secure. It's bored. <laughs> is that all it is? Is this boredom? I'm gonna start saying that if I like, if I hear some from someone and they're just like, so what's going on with you? <laughs> Are you bored? many people who I haven't been in contact with in the longest time who are so bored <coughs> all they do is sit on couches think and watch TV I didn't think that was that's not water that's coffee okay salute maybe somebody needs to wake them up oh <laughs> I'm also on Shark Week, so I'm like, dragging. Dun, 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 and flow, and flow. <laughs> Bored. So, let's give them something to talk about. How about love? Ooh. Love you, bye.